this, can we do a little first gear start on it just to see how jerky it is? You have to hang on. It'll want to take off. <laughs> <laughs> It's time to go on the newest member of the family here at EV West, the Fiat Spider. It's a 1980 Fiat Spider 124 2000. Two, two, well, that's too many numbers and letters. So this is a uh, this is a seven second car, right? This was a 12.2 second car, mm -hmm. 82 horsepower, four cylinder, six speed, 1980 Italian special. This was the cousin to the Ferrari, right? Yeah. This mm -hmm. was uh, this was the little brother. It was kind of the poor man's cheap cousin to take home. Okay. And uh, we made a few changes to it on the interior. It's all like a, 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 a vinyl that looks like the other. We did a billet aluminum. We have the pedestrian bell. Oh. We have uh, a non-latching uh, regenerative braking button, so you don't even have to touch the brakes. This feels about the same pressure of the braking. When oh, you're really? Yeah. Nice. And we did a nice mahogany finish all the way around here. We've been working with a carpenter and then uh, look at that. We have a, a heater that cranks hazards and this is your 110-220 charge switch. And then GPS odometer, uh, uh, the tachometer with the uh, span of shift lights, which is cool. And then just kind of a retro light switch. So, And a V8, right, in the front? Oh, oh my god! What did you put on that? Uh, it's a hamster wheel. <laughs> hamster yeah, wheel. There's like 28 hamsters in there. <laughs> so we have the twin AC34 package in this, and we just did a little secret tune-up to it. Yeah. And we tested the zero to 60 on it, and it's twice as fast. So uh, we did it in 6.7 seconds. Kind of. 6.7. It's a wow. little bit faster. Let's see what 6.7. Yeah, you can't use first gear, so you just do a non-clutch second gear pull-in, and. Uh, yeah, I think it's, it's a little faster than it used to be. <laughs> Maybe a little dumb fast, right? <laughs> wow. Yeah. But a little second gear start. Hundred and seventy six peak horsepower. Yeah. And then the brake kicks in, so we don't have the uh, vacuum pump on this because the brakes without the regen are a little bit heavy, but when we put the vacuum pump on, it'll add too much brake, and we'd rather use the, uh, the regen to uh, extend the efficiency of the car, give it more range. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, anytime you can brake and put energy back into the batteries, that's what you want to do. Yeah, so I mean, then your brakes are going to last forever. Look at it, it stops the car the same as it oh, would your brakes. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, it's pretty aggressive. Yeah. We have it aggressively dialed. So we'll do, a little, we'll do a zero stopping when we get around the corner. We'll, we'll, We'll see how fast this thing stops. We, the nice thing, even though we redistributed some of the weight on the car into the back of the car, uh, whereas we like to keep it in the middle for performance, but it's nice because all that weight sits on the back axle. Yeah. And uh, it really allows you to use that regen without locking up your back tires. Because yeah. normally, like in the Ferrari project, you can put up so much regen with three motors, yeah. you can seize up the back axle before the front. So yeah. there's too much braking power on the back. Too much braking. That's a that's a thing. <laughs> well, yeah. It's really slow. I mean, now so it was 76 seconds to get to top speed at 103 miles an hour for this car. Oh wow! And now I'm pretty sure I haven't tried it, but I mean, it's probably going to be around 30 or less. But it's going to be really yeah. fast. We're going to take this to a track pretty soon and just test it. Uh, and all that power using Tesla modules. Smart Tesla modules. Yeah, the uh, first generation, right? First generation. That's a real stable chemistry. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's good. It's, it's uh, about eight years old. These modules are about eight years old. Yeah, with like literally like 2,000 like, miles of use on them. Yeah. There's no use like, on the modules. And then it's like no uh, degradation. I mean, there's like hardly anything, right? Yeah, no, it's uh, they're amazing. They're, we, I think you, you did a test on the uh, on the output of the batteries. What did you find when you tested the... Uh, uh, when I tested the capacity, it was 55 amp hour. So, so each, each cell is about 2,600 milliamps which is what they were putting. That's where the, the 18650 s were eight years ago. The max was 2,600 million. So they're pretty much brand new. They're pretty much there. Like they haven't lost, maybe like 50 milliamps per cell or something like that. Yeah. So we should really be driving down by the beach today. It's 75 degrees, California, top down. 
there should be a lot of distractions behind us or on the sides, right? Yeah. The range on this oh, guy. There's three options uh, between motor and battery packages that I'm pretty sure we can do, and you can confirm that, but uh, this would be the high end. It has 12 of the Tesla Smart Modules for 36 kilowatts with a twin AC 34s in here. This is going to be around 125 miles. Uh, it's, it's nice. It uh, seems like it goes forever. It picks up with dual onboard chargers, about 17 miles an hour of range upon charging, uh, oh, which yeah. is sweet. So we can do a single AC50 on this uh, with a six or eight battery modules. I'm not sure we have to do the, the, the calcs on that, but we can also do a, a kind of an efficient extended range and probably get uh, you know 135, maybe even 140 miles with a single AC50 on that 36 kilowatts. Just yeah. a little bit more efficiency. I'm not sure if it will or won't, but uh, oh, yeah. I'm sure the power, the 160, 76 horsepower out of this versus the 82, this yeah. is dumb right now. It's an unbelievable, but yeah. the drive line's strong. It holds it. Yeah. And, and you don't have to use all that power. I mean, just because you have it, you, you're not using it. Like right now, it's not using all you know, yeah, I mean, we're just using horsepower. So we'll be able to. Uh, we're just using 100. What's it? 100. We're just using like going slightly downhill. We're all, uh, actually, we're yeah. Once it, once the car gets going, it's just gonna use whatever amount of energy it needs to use, whether you have one motor or three. So you could actually get the calculations of how efficient this car will be by running, you know. So the, the AC50 track. will be the same as this, essentially. Uh, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just okay. gonna be a slight difference in weight, but it's not weight is usually not. The yeah, and it'll just be the cost of one motor versus two motors. So it'd yeah. probably be about a. $2,800 savings to do the AC50 over the twin AC34s. Yeah. A little extra. Yeah, no bad. So the, uh, it's nice. We put a little bit of regen back into the accelerator pedal. So when we come off, it kind of feels like that real car. Yeah, oh, as yeah. opposed to just the glide. It's kind of nice. You just, when you just come off, you have a little bit of the slowdown. It feels nice. Yeah. All right. Very nice. Another one in the can. <laughs> this, can we do a little first gear start on it just to see how jerky it is? You have to hang on. It'll want to take off. <laughs> I heard a little scratch. <laughs> that is just dumb. Yeah, that's, that is a lot of torque. <laughs> I don't think first gear is a good idea. You know, now, now you'll have to take this out for a drive. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, that was a massive ending to something. <laughs> something broke. <laughs> yeah. That, that, oh, we broke the table. No, we totally broke it. Oh, yeah, something broke. <laughs> oh, we seriously did. I ripped the differential out. The just now? Yeah. yeah. So uh, I said you're gonna break something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I then said it too. Two but seconds you know later. Hey, it's good to know. <laughs> You have those little pucks. So then after you take off all the screws. You got the fun part. You, you got, got the fun the part. Chisel. And you gotta pry it out. Oh, oh there. Big over here, the air bubble. moment of truth. <laughs>